ever go to a Hollywood movie, the scientist is always a, is, is so often sort of unleashed. Um, you know, he's going to do something that scares all the other people in the movie. And that's not because Hollywood is just stupid. That's because Hollywood is smart, I think, that Hollywood has a sense of the science, and particularly the engineering culture, that it is so ravenous for newness and for development and for, for adventure and for knowledge that it scares other people because they are knowledge first, knowledge second, knowledge third. And when it's time for you guys to say no to something, I'm just curious, what could you confident, what would you now say no to, if anything, in this field? Lots of things. Um, I'd say no to making a, um, a virus with pandemic potential and releasing it into the environment. I'd say no to you having... See that somebody very, actually did. Somebody actually <laughs> did, made a polio virus, I, actually did it already, just published it even. Yeah, and, and then what they showed was that from that capacity, they were able to do automated attenuation using computational algorithms to automatically generate the designs for a vaccine strain. So you could do rapid response vaccination if you needed to. Um, so oh, by the way, and, oh, by, let's, let's keep going. Things I am against doing. Um, you know, the United States used to have an offensive biological weapons program. Matt Messelson and other scientists, uh, using reasoning, were able to get the Nixon administration to shut it down. You know, <laughs> let's keep, you know, so, so there's, it's, it's, there's a long history of things that, that we're for not doing. Um, and I, I think it's healthy to raise the question. Um, I'm a little bit, um, you know, I think Hollywood's good at many things, including the making of money. <laughs> and uh, if I were to ask you, you know, in the popular culture, what are the most famous movies uh, offering perspectives on the future of biology and biotechnology? What might you remember? I guess The Martian, The Island of Dr. Moreau, Frankenstein, of course, that's a classic, mm -hmm. and uh, Spielberg's uh, dinosaur movie. Mm -hmm. What about Andromeda Stream? Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I liked Andromeda Street. And how about yeah. Gattaca? Or Didn't see Gattaca. How about Contagion? Where are you going with this? So Contagion, <laughs> Contagion um, you know, Gwyneth doesn't come out too well in that movie. Um, but the movie was released on the 10th anniversary to the day of the terrorist attacks. Wow. Like, what are you doing? Um, where are the stories, the narratives, the telos, um, that give us not a naive nerd rapture sense of some future utopia, but this realistically plausible, hey, this is where we should aim. Um, and, and you know, if you think about biology and you take a step back, we're not so egocentric to only talk about humans. You think about biology as a type of material, living matter, super special, it's taken over our planet. Um, how do we wish to partner with it? And, and what might our aspirations be? Uh, so let me just offer a few back of the envelope numbers and then uh, something that we could aspire to. So most of life on Earth is powered by photosynthesis. Light comes in, and it's get turned into chemical energy. And you can quantify how much energy that is. It's 90 terawatts of power on an average at any moment. Our civilization's running on of order only 20 terawatts of power. So deployed on our planet in nature is 90 terawatts in aggregate of photosynthesis. Human civilization's running on 20. Whoa. Maybe if we changed our interfaces a little bit between us and the rest of the planet, we could figure out how to flourish in partnership with nature. We could be uh, transitioning from living on Earth to living with Earth. Um, so, you know, somehow it's, it's, it's a challenge within the field, but I think it's a challenge that goes well beyond any of our scientific or engineering talents, it's the political and cultural and economic talents that are required here, the narrative talents. Um, you know, we just, have to, we just have to get on a slightly different path. I don't want to industrialize biology. I'd like to biologize industry. Um, and, and we should be able to pull it off, right? So what I've encountered over my life, born in 1970, human population has doubled. The ecologists are telling me the animal populations in nature have dropped in half. Duh. You know, I don't want to be part of that. Uh, and so how about we just aim this thing a little bit differently and partner with biology, living matter, to upgrade our interfaces, 
to not trash the planet, and, and not to be naive about it, but I think if you do the back of the envelope calculations, we should be able to pull it off. Thank you. <laughs>